Hello LEGO friends, Matt from Brooks Bricks here today with a review of a set I recently purchased on a LEGO haul. You can check out in the video here. It's a Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, Fab Five Loft. Stay tuned and check it out. All right, we're going to check out set number 10291, a set of 974 pieces. This is noted as an 18 plus set. It is not listed as an idea set. So this is just um, a random Lego, quote, random Lego offering. Um, but it definitely is kind of in that sitcom style of builds here. Um, but this just looks like a fantastic set. So much fantastic detail here. Really looks awesome. And I want to go ahead and build it and actually do a review for folks that watch my channel. Um, to show you guys what it looks like before I end up mocking this into something else. So let's take a look. So first I wanted to show the figures in this set because I think this has a fantastic set of designs, torsos, etc, etc. And forgive me if I mess up some of the names here. Um, I'll go with what's on the box, but I might mess up the pronunciations. So first on the left here we have um, Karamo or Karamo, <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, but I will say, first off, I love this torso design. This looks absolutely fantastic. Um, looks like kind of a new printed face style for him. Looks really good. Um, standard baseball cap here, but yeah, this is just, this is great. I, I'm absolutely loving this. Uh, regular kind of a black leg here um, piece, no major thing there. On the right, we've got Bobby with a kind of a nougat colored um, set of pants and a very kind of leafy floral design for his shirt, um, which actually is a short sleeve. You can see it's kind of a dual molded look there. Um, really cool print there. He's got, it looks like what looks like a brand new face to me. I'm not sure of that. And a great looking hair piece there as well. And kind of a nougat or dark nougat color. And around the back here, which this might be a dark orange more than I think about it. Um, great printing right around the back of that torso. And a little bit of a kind of a collar, hoodie there sort of thing on the back of um, Karano's there as well. Next up, we've got Tan and Jonathan. And see, Tan here has a really nice looking, um, all kind of sand green suit here with a really nice kind of, I say that's a leopard print or something like that, but it's a really great undershirt printed underneath that. The quality looks really, really good there. Um, with Jonathan here, in particular, just got a, a kind of a, almost like a A shirt or kind of a muscle shirt sort of thing. Um, open arms there. Love the dual molded leg print here um, with the designs on the top and then kind of the black there below. Um, face prints look fantastic. Really interesting hair piece there. I'm not sure if I've seen that one before. And Jonathan's looks like something new. I don't recall seeing that one before either. Back, another great print on the back side of um, Tan's outfit there as well. Back of Jonathan's is plain, nothing big there, but looking really good there as well. And this next one is Antoni. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Antoni is kind of more food and wine based on what the box says here in description. Um, this is just, I don't even know what to say about this one. Um, a very interesting, looks like kind of a pretty tight white shirt here, short sleeve, interesting handkerchief, and this dual molded leg print these jean shorts really really interesting quality look print all around there nice printing on the back and all that stuff there too looks fantastic yet another great figure good hair piece so the fab five look really good all around let's take a look at the other two so i don't recall if these folks have any names associated with them um i had to go back and look at the instruction booklet to see if it's not on the box um Basically, the idea is... Oh, no, I'm sorry. Actually, they do. Let me correct myself. The box itself actually says, Special Guest Kathy Dooley. Um, so this is supposed to be two different um, impressions of her, it looks like. Um, this is kind of the before and this is the after makeover kind of thing. And we'll say, once again, the torso prints, brand new ones, unique looking, fantastic prints. The white stands out really well on the tan background here um great prints prints all around on the back quality there as well everything looks fantastic with the figures on uh, a couple different hair pieces here as well they look great so that's the minifigure set 
All right, taking a look at the actual loft build itself. This is uh, 44 wide, so it's much it's bigger than a regular 32 by 32 base plate length. Um, looks like it's maybe about 32 or so long, or extending back there as well. So it's a pretty hefty build with an open face here, of course. But there's so much fantastic detail in here. I just I have to show you all the things that are going on here. So let's actually start first with this cool looking large screen TV um, and this wonderful cabinet. I love the design of this and the idea behind it. I think this could be used in almost any kind of like residential or apartment sort of thing or hotel thing, uh, but that's actually kind of kept, kept separate on the model. Over here, we've got actually a really cool design um, for like a china cabinet, storage cabinet, all kinds of stuff in here. That looks really elegant. We've got some plants here. Um, interesting technique with this um, cone shape cone sort of piece on our, um, flipped on its uh, other side here with the plants coming out of it. That is a printed clear or transparent panel. Looks excellent. The main uh, front part of this here is kind of their living room space. A lot of things going on here. This is a wonderful couch build. These have some stickers on them. Um, bit of a reclining chair here that looks great. Um, a kind of a side table with this really, really awesome looking lamp here, piece here. It actually looks kind of like the Pixar guy. So that's really cool. This kind of coffee table freestanding with a little book here, kind of a um, scrapbook here. This whole thing can be pulled out. Just like that. Of course, I just knocked a piece over. Um, but it can be pulled out, kind of like the front set and other things. They have little carpet areas built into them. These are printed two by two tiles, or two by four tiles. And these look fantastic. I can see these going off um, the Lego pick a brick thing pretty easily in terms of people snatching these up for tiling and doing all that kinds of fun stuff for their builds. Moving along. Oh, we also forgot. I got a bulldog here too that comes with it. Got some more plants and decorations. This right here is kind of the makeover space. So we got a nice looking barber chair here that does kind of rotate on a stand. Got various things here. You actually have a mirror um, so people can check themselves out. So if I was bringing the bulldog guy up here, you should see him. More stuff on the shelves here. We got a couple of um, satchels. This is kind of a nice thing. This is actually a clothes rack and drawers and stuff where you got some extra torsos hanging up. And I will say that those also have fantastic printing on them all around so you can hot swap in anything you want for all the figures and it just comes out really really well the idea of this right here is kind of like um it's sort of a play feature of the set where you have a figure go in there in this case the idea is you'd have the original kathy go in there after she's you know just getting a makeover of her clothes and if you pull this guy up you can actually rotate this around and have the second figure there and boom she pops out as newly dressed Kathy. <laughs> so that's supposed to be a little bit of kind of the, the play feature, um, realistic aspect of it, where you've got all kinds of changing and stuff going on there, changing their clothes and checking out that stuff. <clears throat> all right, let's go ahead and take a look at the other sections of little addendum I forgot to note. Here's some extra accessories in the back section of this too. Um, the idea is that this is kind of the changing closet again, and they're changing into these various things. And then they pop out the other side of the front, and they're like, all new, we have gay. Um, this is another thing that actually helps to create that um, play feature, the rotation of the two sections inside here. And then you'll notice, of course, a lot of the back side of this build is based on white, which is new for this set, and light bluish gray masonry brick, which is fantastic. Love the design and how it looks, especially from the front. So let's take a look at more of this. All right, moving on back here, we've got a, a sticker um, piece here. This is kind of a decorative thing. This is Fab. It's kind of a pole here, but it looks really nice. Um, moving to the kitchen space, we've got a very nice um, window section here with this really cool use of um, masonry bricks on the opposite side to create kind of shades that could come down. We've got some plants up here. Really nice effect here with these two um, modified plate sections that create that look. But what really gets it for me is the kitchen. I love this kitchen design. So let me first go over on this side here. 
We got a big sticker piece here. It just has all kinds of sticky notes and stuff pasted up there. It looks pretty cool. But look at this kitchen design. We first have, we got a bunch of bar stools here, bar chairs sitting up here for folks to sit in. We've got a large island. Um, these are printed tiles, which is fantastic. I can see multiple applications of those being used. This is a sticker piece showing some avocado on a cutting board, which I thought was a fantastic little Easter egg. Um, one of my friends is uh, very much into avocado and kind of made a joke on my live stream as I built this about that. <laughs> I got a kick out of it. Um, we got some pot and pans here, some materials for cooking, got a bowl here. Uh, there actually is, let me get this out, right? A really nice sticker attached on the panel on this side here to give the impression of an oven for cooking and stuff too. So really wonderful design all around there. And that just kind of sits right in place there. One more back, kind of on half tiles there. Um, we've got a nice looking fridge and freezer here, which do open up to show you some stuff inside. I'll go ahead and pull this open here while I'm holding the camera. So I wanna show it in, in situ here. <laughs> there we go, okay, sorry about that. <laughs> So, we've got some stuff actually in here, and it's an interesting technique that they used. Um, so you see various things with little, actually one by one stickers on them on the sides there. Those are attached to snap bricks, which allow you to put the tiles on the side here, those two by three tiles. So it's an interesting technique to use to give that impression of stuff inside, that extra detail. The stickers, while small, weren't really bad to put on. I use an X-Acto knife and it went just fine for me. So that's an interesting detail there. Got a nice looking kind of coffee cappuccino, maybe sort of maker there. Some shelves with various things on them. A really nice just entire kitchen counter and sink thing going on here. We got the use of some trash can pieces in black um, to create the look of some cabinets. Nice design there. A little bit of cap fur, sorry about that. Um, got a nice design sink here. Some things out there like there's some dish soap. There's the faucet few things there and some cabinets in black with black drawers. I've never seen those before. That's really cool. They give you a cleaving knife, a mixer piece and some stuff that you can throw in there. So lots of detail for the workspace here. And you got a Yaz Queen um, sign and sticker up there too. So pretty cool all around. But yeah, I just, I saw this in the store, looked at it more and more, looked at all the details and I, I ended up saying, yes, I'm gonna go ahead and get this. And this is absolutely something that, even if you don't want it as a display set, is prime, and I will say absolutely primed, to be something that can be integrated in some way into like a modular build or some other thing, some kind of mock that you design. So many things that can be used for the interior detailing. It is fantastic. It was $100. Um, the, it's about 975 pieces. Um, but I think the quality of the work, the attention to detail, all the stuff that you get makes it pretty worth it. So if you're looking for details and all that good stuff, you wanna fill up a mock build, I think this is one of the good sets to use for that. Um, it does kind of fall in line with those other sitcom things, uh, but I think it works out really, really well. So again, I think it's a great one to go with. Um, but for now, I just want to give you guys a review of that set. I don't do many reviews, but I think this one was worthy of it because I enjoyed the build. Lots of great stuff here, and I think it'd be great for me to pick up if they want to build a mock out of it, use it for parts, details, etc., etc., and put it in your city. For now, though, thanks as always to my subscribers in particular for watching. I appreciate your support. As always, if you haven't, hit that subscribe, hit the like button, the notification bell, all that good stuff. Leave a comment or thought below. I'd like to hear from people. All the good stuff. Yay. <laughs> and thank you for watching Brooks Brooks. I really appreciate it. And until next time, take care. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.